Shalom, this is Ephraim Buckwall preparing for Rosh Hashanah. And Rosh Hashanah is going to be in a little over a week. Oh my God. We have to ask ourselves, why does Rosh Hashanah matter? What's so important about Rosh Hashanah? Well, you know the story of Adam in the Garden of Eden. Adam is hiding from God. He's naked. He's eaten from the forbidden fruit. And God calls out from heaven. He says, Adam, Ayeka, where are you? Of course, the omniscient God knows where Adam is. He's in the Garden of Eden. And he knows exactly the spot where Adam is. He's asking Adam, Adam, where are you? Where are you existentially? Where are you spiritually? What have you done with your life? And where are you going? And that's what God asks us each and every day, but significantly on Rosh Hashanah. We need to ask ourselves, evaluate ourselves. In Judaism, we have a concept known as Cheshbon HaNefesh, an accounting of our souls. We need to take an account and evaluation of our souls so that we know we're in the right direction, we're on the right path, that we're doing the right thing morally, ethically, in our behavior with ourselves and with other human beings. That's what it's all about. You've heard of the story of uh, the young man who wakes up one morning and he says, God, so far I've been okay today. I haven't spoken evil, haven't hurt anyone's feelings, haven't done anything wrong. But soon I'm going to have to get out of bed and face the real world. Rosh Hashanah is the instrument that helps us face the real world. When we make our own internal accounting of our deeds, then we know that we're on the right path, that we're on the right track, that we're going to use every ounce of our strength and our moral conviction to do the right thing for ourselves and for humankind. So I wish you all a very, very happy, sweet, and healthy New Year Shana Tovah.